This is John Garbett Jr. He is 51 years old. He may not be a young researcher anymore, but after spending years working in science industrially, he has chosen to switch paths and apply his knowledge to change people's lives. This is his story. My name is John Garbett Jr. I am a senior research uh, associate at the University of California, San Francisco. I work in the laboratory of Sean Douglas, whose principal study is nanotechnology around DNA origami. My father was a PhD organic chemist, made everything that can be made out of corn, corn oil, corn protein, corn ethanol. Um, but I like science because I'm very much an applied scientist. I really like R&D, which is why I now work for the University of California, because it is R&D. But coming from industry, I always enjoyed the challenge of taking something and how can we use that new discovered information and make a better drug, a new drug to target a new illness, a biofuel, which would be better than before, or just some new component, bioplastics, um, that would be degradable. Being more toward the back half of my career, I decided I would like to try something new. Industry compensates well. It very much compensates well, and in a high cost of living, that's hard to walk away from. But I said, boy, just once in my life, one more time, I would like to work on something novel, unique, but with an applied purpose. Right now, one of the projects is to make a universal flu vaccine. Right now, we have to make a new vaccine every year. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I do what's called process development. Uh, I use a bioreactor to grow the cells which we infect with a bacteriophage which contains the DNA that we fold structures with. Bacteria, just like every other cell in the universe, can be infected by a virus. It's much more simpler than an uh, animal virus or a hu human virus. But from this virus is the DNA that we can fold. Um, it's the template. So my first job is to figure out how to grow this virus to it's maximum amount of uh, virus uh, that can be made from a single cell than in a volume of liquid in a bioreactor. I load up the syringe and I pull a little vacuum and then I release this valve and then it allows me to pull some liquid out. In the flu virus, there's one small piece that if you could hold it in place very specifically, you could get the body to recognize the flu every single time it sees it. Because it just for a brief instant, when it attaches to cells, it changes shape and then it reverts back within nanoseconds. But if you could hold it, that molecule and in that shape, using a DNA structure as a mounting device, you'd have a universal flu vaccine. Uh, so my name is Sean Douglas and I'm an assistant professor at the University of California, San Francisco. What Sean Douglas was looking for is he, he had a way of, of knowledge to make DNA structures, but he had no idea really how am I going to make all this DNA I need? And then if I want to make all this DNA and make all these structures, how do I make it in such a way that I'm allowed to inject it into patients? He reached out on the internet just asking questions uh, in, a, in a forum, and I said, well, what do you need to do? And I, uh, he said, well, I need to do this, that, and the other thing. And I said, well, you can do this and this and this. And he says, well, okay, well, can you, exp a few more questions back and forth. And he goes, do you have time to come in my office and just kind of draw this on the board for me? And I said, sure. Um, and so I came and drew it on the board. And the more he saw, the more he thought, you know, I, I need you here. And so that's why I'm here, to help him not only in the short term, but someday we'd like to take these structures and see if there's a medical application. We need to be asking those questions to begin with. Go ahead and think outside the box and don't be afraid if someone else says, oh, that can't be. Take big risks. Life is about uh, more about failure and what you learn from that. Uh, most people under the 21 and younger have not aware that it's from hard experiences come your best uh, shaping of your mind, body, and soul.